Hi, kitty cats. Today is September 20th, 2024. It's Friday, and that means it's time for your weekly a dose of transgender joy. I know my onions, Bruno. Well, today I want to make a bit of a change and include joyful events across the transgender community, not just my life. There really is a lot to celebrate, and I want to remember that in this political climate. Now, all of these bits come from my friend Jack Molay's website, Transgender World, which you can find at trans-express.lgbt. Also, follow on Blue Sky and Mastodon. So, piece of joy number one. Lady Gaga talked about deflecting the allegations she is transgender early in her career. She didn't respond because she didn't want to associate shame with being transgender. That is, if she responded, she proved it was an important distinction, and her silence ensured she did not give anti-transgender rhetoric that power. So I am joyful for you, Lady Gaga, for many reasons, but especially for standing up for my identity. Piece of joy number two. Last Saturday, the Professional Association for Transgender Health in Ireland, or PATHI, officially launched. As Ireland is part of the United Kingdom and transgender care in the UK is currently being held captive by the CAS report, this new organization stands to improve understanding of and access to gender-affirming care. I am joyful for you, Pathy, for seeing the wrong being done in the name of science and moving to correct it with, uh, well, actual science. Piece of joy number three, Alan Cumming won an Emmy recently. Now, Alan is not transgender, hasn't been accused of being transgender, but he did wear a transgender pride pin on his jacket while he delivered his speech. Mr. Cumming, thank you for supporting my community. I will always remember you and love you for your role as Wyatt in Josie and the Pussycats. Put the Chevy to the levee indeed. And that's been your weekly dose of transgender joy. I will see you next week. Bye.